Hi, I'm Dr. Boris, and I'm going to talk today about the differences between the saline implants that we use and the silicone implants. Many doctors are married to silicone and really feel it is really the best to put in patients. There are other doctors who feel that sa uh, saline is the best to put into patients. In the old days, the uh, silicone would break, the lifespan was uh, short, the, ca uh, the uh, coating would break and the silicone would rupture and get within the capsule the body creates around the implant or even it extravasate or go further into the body tissues and even end up in the lymph nodes. And that was what was uh, in the old days and the concern in the old days uh, was the possibility of autoimmune disease, cancers, and although we've not found any correlation uh, with silicone, uh, it was taken off the market and um, in 1992 and just recently put back in. Uh, it was used only in certain indicated cases, but not on every patient. Whereas today, uh, for the last several years, people are going back to using silicone. During that time, the technology of the saline has increased and, and the tech. And there are doctors today who feel that the results are pretty much the same. I have patients who have a lot of complications with silicone. They get capsules, they get scalloping, and um, we take them out and we put uh, either another silicone in or we put in a saline. And I have patients who have had scalloping from the saline and we take it out and we can put another, uh, we can put a silicone in. But these are complications that occur with either saline or silicone. The newest silicone, even though the FDA, the government agency that monitors and controls and protects the public um, f from uh, having complication problems with silicone, um, feels that just like with the old silicone implants, they recommend with the new ones that every three years a patient get an, F an MRI scan and that every 10 years to replace it. Uh, the new sil silicone is cohesive and doesn't, if the implant uh, breaks, it doesn't leak, it just stays within the implant. I, I can give you an example of that. I'm going to cut into the sil silicone implant and you'll see what happens when I cut into it. Here, I cut into it and now if I go like that, you see that it comes out, but when I release it, it goes back in. Cut out. And your body forms a capsule around it, so it's not uh, creating the kinds of problems that we had with silicone before with the new cohesive gel implants. Um, and this is a good demonstration to show that it doesn't, when it leaks, it kind of goes back. So if you push on it, it can come out a little bit, but it just comes back in again. It doesn't just spread like molasses or uh, like, a fl like flood water, just kind of flowing out and uh, going all over the body. So the new uh, silicone is really a different breed of silicone than before. Uh, whereas uh, with the saline implant, we have a, uh, the company reports a 3% uh, uh, rupture rate uh, where it deflates. Uh, we've done over 12,000 and have had 10 deflations. So it's far less than what's reported in the literature. But if it, if it leaks, and I'll show you what happens. This is a valve that we've inflated. We'll take the, the uh, tubing out, and this is what goes into the body. Now, if it ruptures for whatever reason, and really these things only are very, as I say, very rarely does it rupture, what happens is, oops, it's just water that comes out. And your body absorbs it, and uh, the woman wakes up and finds that her breast is deflated, comes in, and one day later, um, she can have it, we can put it, take it out through the belly button and put another one in. Um, so it's not serious, it's, you know, the concerns in the past were the dissemination of the silicone, the silicone getting into the tissues. Uh, with saline, it's just water, it's very safe. And um, so um, there are benefits of using uh, the sa uh, saline because of the safety, if you're concerned about silicone. Uh, and in my hands, I think the results doing trans umbilical endoscopic uh, breast enlargement with saline uh, gives an amazing result and, and in my experience even though I use a lot of silicone I use a lot of I use uh, saline as well there are indications for the silicone especially if a woman is um, 
um, comes in and says, I just want silicone. And because she doesn't realize that she can get just as good a result with the saline. We put silicone in. But uh, I just want to give a demonstration to give this demonstration so you can see the different uh, FDA-approved implants that we have on the market. Thank you.